Alrighty, so this is a build out here that we did inside of CRM, um, primarily driven here by Landon and Hector. I think a couple other devs might have had their hand in a cookie jar here and there around this kind of overall process. Um, but these are kind of the two main people to build out. Uh, so this is on a project where, you know, a client had built out some pretty complicated methods of doing quoting through Zoho Creator kind of realized, you know what, like a lot of what we need is pretty simple. We really should just be doing this quoting from CRM. But they did have a couple little key areas that were really important um, that they were able to do in Creator that we needed to make sure could be done on the CRM side. One of those was basically dynamic approval workflows. So in this, uh, you know, client's use case, um, they essentially are, you know, sending out these quotes that have a variety of different line items on them. Um, and when there are certain types of discounts on a quote, it needs to go through an approval process before it can actually be sent out to the customer. So for this particular client, the types of discounts are really on a line item basis. Um, interestingly enough, they don't really need to look at the total discount amount because each individual line item gets assigned basically a max discount, right? So maybe for this type of cable, hey, we can discount that 10%. This thing over here, we can't go above 5% on a discount because it cuts too far into our margin. So it gets a little bit more complicated, right? Where we're not just looking at, hey, is the total discount more or less than 10%? We actually need to look at each line item and look at the discounts there. So essentially what we do is say that um, when that quote gets uh, the line items added, and we save that record, a little function will run that will look at each individual line item, calculate the discount being offered on that quote for the line item, and then compare that percent against a max discount, which has been filled in in the CRM products module, basically like the reference point of what's okay or what's not okay for that product. If that function finds any of those particular items, um, that have been discounted outside of kind of that max discount band, it'll go ahead and essentially like check a box, right? Update a status on that quote automatically, which immediately enters the record into the approval flow. So the nice thing here is that essentially in order to edit that line item list, the you know sales rep needs to edit the quote. Once they save it, it locks itself for approval, meaning that they actually can't generate the PDF from it anymore and actually try to send it to the customer. It must go through that approval process. At the tail end of the approval, there, there is some kind of logic and rules set up in the approval flow itself. Um, but essentially what will happen is once it has been approved, that sales rep will get notified, the record will become unlocked, and they'll be able to proceed in sending that quote out to the customer. So really it's just this one function doing a lot of work for us, uh, looking at those line item specific discounts, uh, using some logic, and then based on the output of that logic, it will either just let it go on through, right? Because our client basically said, hey, if nothing is discounted outside of those ranges, send it, right? We don't need to know about it. We don't need to approve it. Um, but if we're kind of outside of band a little bit, we're able to enter it into that approval flow um, before that rep ever has a chance to send it out. Super sweet. Very well done. The dynamic team of McCluskey and Gonzalez. And I think we had implementation of these two a couple weeks back. Um, yeah. But yeah, good job, guys. Good.